Hello, and welcome back to July 28th, part two. We're going to take that TRL trade, and here's why. I'm going to show you. We're going to do a call trade. So let's go and look at this. We ran the scanner, and TLR came up with 116,000. That's extremely small volume. We'll see what that's all about. And therefore, that was our choice from the open market scan of stochastics uptrend. And there is the chart. We saw this in the later video. In the prior video of today, of July 28th. So I'm going with 1605. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to edit my uh, three to one, uh, my three to one uh, ruler measurement. And there it is. My entry is going to be 1605, and my stop, my first stop is going to be 1250. Once this clears the gantry, as the rules apply, we will then go to 1605, and then once we clear 1960, we will then apply that rule in advance of the Elvis shift because this is an open market. This is not a loss leader. I, as you can note, there's nothing here saying this owes me any money. This is a, it's going to be a do or die trade and make it or not make it. Uh, okay. So that said, we had TL, TLR, uh, TLRY. And now we went, we did go to the options chain and came up with December, 142 days out. That's what the parentheses say. And you can see it right there when the little sub, the sub menu pops up days until last trading day, which is date DTE. Now, I did mention that we only had $378 in the last, in, in the prior, in today's the regular video. And the choice was going to be either the, uh, 365, which I happen to like better because it's 15 cent spread as opposed to a 20 cent spread up here, even though this had the better delta. But our budget is out. We don't have enough. And then I'm looking at this as, you know what? We also, this is another trading theory. Another trading theory is you don't buy in the money because in the money is the more costly options. So you can again go into one out of the money and one out of the money came up with a 58 delta. That is still very good. What that 58 delta means that we have a 58% chance that this trade is going to be profitable. That's the way I don't particularly subscribe to that, but that's the way some people have presented it in class and in videos as an interpretation of that delta. And what that delta really means for those who don't know about delta, delta is the rate of change. In other words, when the stock here moves up $1, this option is going to increase by 58 cents. If it moves up one dollar and you and you buy this option, then it'll move 62 cents. So every dollar change, every dollar increase, these are the percentages that it will pay back. And if you're keeping it at one dollar, keeping it simple, one dollar times 76 delta is 76 cents. So looking at this, this is still considered a healthy trade and why is that well first of all is that 15 cent spread number two it's in my i have enough money to buy it but even if i have a small slippage i still have enough money to be able to have the trade to go forward and also too it falls into the trading strategy of some other uh, trading mindsets of others buy one out of the money this is called one out of the money trade and this is one of the first trades or trades rules that i was introduced to back in 2013. so in 2013 when i first started taking understanding options and didn't even know the options that didn't understand options even that well then but the bottom line was that this is your more cost effective but riskier opportunity but yet this delta is over 50 which means we have a slightly more than 50 percent chance that this is going to work in our favor so we're going to go ahead and put the trade on yes we did all the work i showed it in the earlier video why not so we are going to come here and we're going to click here and we're going to do the buy customs as we did earlier with stop and we're going to stretch the order ticket so we can see all the de details one contract tlr december 17 dollar strike price and we change the order ticket to market then we change it to good till cancel and now we put in our condition this is known as the condition order and we now right click on the we 
left click on the gear and now we have the order rules and this will populate automatically as you click it will all populate but this is what we have to change we want to buy this when this is uh 1605 that's our entry price and we go and save that now we'll come down here to our next and we're going to go symbol method and our stop is going to be 1250 as we saw on the chart and now we come here to the order and confirm and on the order confirm keeping it very simple i put in the date i'm put, putting the order up 728 it is a uh, alpha account it is stochastics uptrend strategy and the entry price is uh, 1605 and our stop price is 1250 and that's the order it's there done and of course you didn't see all the dialogue I didn't go into all the other stuff. that's time consuming and when we become traders we want to keep it time efficient we don't want to be in here for three or two uh, two or three hours setting up these trades and my grandson is a perfect example he's 22 uh, and he is like Grandpa, I don't have the time. I want to set it up, write up my notes, I'm done. And that's it. And then we'll go ahead and we'll grab this. Control copy. And then we're going to send the order. And what will happen? Order is been submitted right there. We come back here. And now we're going to go to text. And we're going to drop in the text. And there it is. And that is how simple my grandson keeps it. That is it. He and since he only has one account, he won't put the word alpha, but he will put in what is the strategy that's being used, what's the entry point, and what is the initial stop, which is right here at 1250. Now, we are going to use his exit rules. So we'll go ahead and now we're going to write in our exit rules. And our exit rule is uh, ratio, which is the initial, which is the initial stop. That's the initial stop. Then we're going to go to entry price stop. And then we're going to first first ratio win. First ratio win stop. And we're going to see how this works. And this is kind of cool because this doesn't owe us any money. So if we lose, it will just go on my lost leaders list, whatever it loses. But if it wins, it will be a winner's circle trade, which will bring in profit. So there it is. Uh, the order is gone. The money is down. And we will see what tomorrow is like. And with that, I thank you very much for stopping by and checking out part two of July 28th, setting up the trade for TLRY call trade. And I thank you. Bye-bye.